make sure to subscribe and of course ring that bell and turn those notifications on so you don't miss my next video. Hey everyone, it's Kristen and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. So we are jumping into a graveyard mod review, you guys. This actually looks really interesting. And if you have seen any of my gameplay, you know that death follows me in The Sims 4. So this is actually created by Kawaii Stacy. I will make sure to leave a link in the description where you guys will be able to download this for yourself. So this does only require base game. So that is actually really, really cool. And this says that there is a place where those who have laws can put to rest or visit their loved ones and remember all of the good times. So, oh, <laughs> this is actually really cool. I wish that this is something that the Sims team actually like did have in game because I think it would just make it that much more like personable in game. So this says that NPCs will be able to show up to the graveyard to grieve and it is inspired by The Sims 3. So you will get some spawning time so you will see like some visitors. I'm arriving to the graveyard so from 8 a.m. to 2 which is for the morning and afternoon visitors. 5 to 11 p.m. which is the evening and night visitors. And then you guys from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. we have the dead freaking visitors so how do you get a graveyard so you can download one form from the gallery or create one for yourself and it just says if you make one to use the hashtag so she can find them so how do i place my lost friends and family in the graveyard so put the urn in your inventory and place it on the graveyard lot so how to make a graveyard functional, give the lot the graveyard trait. So you are gonna see this new lot trait of graveyard. So warning, <laughs> do not overstay your welcome. Ghosts may come out around or before midnight. Okay, so it looks like we are gonna get three new mood booths, which is rest in peace. Carly is remembering the many lives that have been lost, including those who were close to him or her. So that looks like if you're just at the graveyard. Also, oh, that is also a sad plus one. Then a tense plus one is, what is this feeling? Say something about this place just feels creepy. And then happy plus three surrounded by death. This is very satisfying to Ivan. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, you guys. So you are just going to need to download one of these versions into your Sims 4 mods folder, extract the file, and then you will be good to go. So all of that said, you guys, we are going to be jumping on into game and seeing how this works. All right, you guys. So I am going to be placing this creation that I found in the gallery created by Pixella Simile. It is the hollow slow graveyard slow. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to murder me in the comments. <laughs> but this was adorable. It looks like it's going to be really fun to use. It is a 30 by 20 lot and we are going to be placing this furnished right here. Now this is a generic lot. So we are going to be able to actually visit it. I thought it was a really nice spot, you guys, because it's like right here by the water. So one thing that we are going to need to do is go over for the lot traits and we are going to need to find the new lot trait of graveyard so it says that oh my gosh where is it this lot is filled with dead bodies the ghosts of the bodies and fear all right you guys so we went ahead and actually placed the lot 10 out of 10 recommend downloading this because it is super adorable you guys look at the fountains that go over here as well so we are gonna need to get into a little bit of death and um, I apologize but it, it's just what needs to be done <laughs> because we are going to need an urn or two or maybe more than that because we need to see exactly how these function so first thing that I am noticing is the new log trait so we do have that tense feeling from something about this place just feels creepy. Um, oh, cold temperature, feeling flirty. Oh my God, Kristen, what the heck? <laughs> we're in a graveyard. You don't need to feel flirty here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is click over on our sim and we are going to go to sim commands. We are then going to maintain sim. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. We're gonna kill sim. Death by lightning, death by electrocution. I feel like, I feel like lightning would be the best. 
Kill Dina Caliente by Death by Lightning. Yes. Oh, that was way too... <gasps> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. She is dead, but it actually, like, doesn't give us an urn. Okay, you guys, judge me if you will, but we are going to be adding him into our household. We are also going to have him climb in, and you guessed it. We are, um, unfortunately going to be marking this off because we really need to get ourselves that urn. <laughs> so, like I said, judge me if you will. It's fine, but we're going to just do, let's just do a half a wall. And this is really when those, um, this is really when those glass walls would really come in handy, Sims team, just saying. And let's make it as pretty as we can. Let's do pink. <laughs> let's do a nice cheerful color for this we're gonna do pink on the walls and then let's add a little bit of um, a little bit of a white finish on it as well we're gonna move that over so we can get a nice look of this and there we are we're gonna need to deplete all of our needs again so sorry about this sir and Dominique is dying okay so we are gonna have an urn from this lemon squeezy <laughs> okay well Dominique has now died we are waiting for the Grim Reaper to come now I feel like this is just really fitting we are in the graveyard it needed to happen we need to get this urn so we can see how to add your family into the community graveyard now normally you're probably not gonna have this happen you're probably just gonna want to add in you know your grandparents Possibly your mother that died of laughter or something, you know, she peed her pants and she's died of embarrassment, but um, It's fine. We're just gonna make this happen a little bit quicker. I am so sorry Um, yeah, Dominic is a little bit uncomfortable <laughs> It had to happen good times. All right, let's get this urn and there we go Okay, so let's go back in remove this O of the way remove that as well all right so we're gonna actually place Dominic in the graveyard so let's put this in our inventory and let's choose a really nice spot for Dominic I mean he gave us the ultimate um, sacrifice of himself so we're gonna place Dominic over here and let's go over and ooh, call forth ghosts can we do that I don't know if I'm gonna want to do that release we can also mourn him as well so it's like it didn't even happen but you guys this is really cool so you are able to place one of your generic oh no are we let's go over and we're gonna mourn him and we're gonna call forth the ghost I don't think we want to we're like what did you do <laughs> what the heck there we go yeah you need to like fake it till you make it we need to pretend this actually bothers us a little bit well this is the mod review for the new graveyard mod i actually really enjoy this one i highly recommend it if you guys have a lot of dying sims or if you do just need it for your storytelling so this does make a difference in your game like if you're thinking yeah but you can just download the graveyard and place them anyway but this just pulls forth a lot of the townies and just gives everybody that really sad, you know, they're looking like they're coming here just being really upset and they are like here to mourn it as well. So you're also going to have a lot of ghosts that come out here in the e What? What? What the heck? Okay, this place is definitely um, creeping me out a little bit. Like of all things to happen, I mean, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, well, we're having like a little bit of a, oh my gosh, we have somebody cleaning over, oh my God, we have a cleaning ghost over there, but highly recommend downloading this mod, you guys. If you are looking to add a little bit of realism to your game, this is going to really pull out the townies that do look like they are here to grieve. They all show up, you know, really sad, really tense, and you're also gonna be getting a lot of ghosts kind of like show up here in the evenings as well. So I really hope you guys did enjoy today's mod review. As always, if you did, make sure to give today's video a very big thumbs up. Let me know which mods you would like to see me attempt to review in the future. And hopefully I'm going to see you all next time. Bye guys.